We'll get to both those stories, but our big story tonight, a scary scene on Halloween Eve, and it was very real. A Whitefish Bay man accused of pulling out a gun during trick-or-treating on Sunday. Police reports say he told a group of kids, get out of my neighborhood. Our Cassidy Williams joins us now in studio to explain what happened next. The man was arrested for first degree recklessly endangering safety and being intoxicated, intoxicated while armed. Police reports say breathalyzer shows he was three times over the legal limit. We are not naming the man arrested because he has not yet been charged. And neighbors want people to know everyone is welcome on Halloween. Whitefish Bay is known to draw in trick or treaters from out of town. Or whoever wants to come trick or treat here, you know, you're invited. Stefan Zick says it was a busy happy Halloween until around 3.30 Sunday. Me and my son were just sitting on the steps and he was kind of manning the candy bowl and we heard some yelling. The yelling was coming from the intersection of Bay Ridge and Fairmount. What happened next sent Zick and his eight-year-old son running inside. And he went inside the house and he came out with his hand up like this and so like a black object in his hand. When police interviewed the man, he told officers he saw several kids starting to scramble around a sedan. He added, I could tell they were not residents of the area. When the man told the kids to leave, both sides started yelling. The man says he felt threatened because they pointed their hands at him like a gun and yelled, I got you, mother expletive. That's when he told police he got his gun. It's upsetting, of course, to see, to see to know that somebody that lives pretty close to you has a weapon and is that ready to start something. By the time police got there, the people in the sedan were gone. Police don't know their side of the story or if they were there trick or treating. The only description in the report is that the driver was a younger black male in dark clothing. Multiple neighbors told police they didn't see how this all started but heard the Whitefish Bay man yelling, get out of my neighborhood, and waving a gun. Zick says his actions are not representative of the neighborhood. You should never, you know, try and kick somebody out of your neighborhood like that. I mean, it's, that's not good. And we actually ran into the man that was arrested while in the neighborhood this afternoon. He told me he had no comment and said charges had been dismissed. The DA's office and the police chief say that's not true. The chief says charges are pending blood results, which could take a few weeks. Stacy, thank you.